Welcome to the rebellious world of rock and roll high school, where the corridors echo with the rebellious tunes of the Ramones. Have you ever wondered about the first time you experienced this cinematic gem? Or perhaps there's a scene that's etched in your memory, refusing to fade away. This 1979 classic is a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and even somber moments. As you embark on this journey, keep your eyes peeled for the surprises that await. But when was the first time you found yourself immersed in the chaotic charm of this high school rebellion? Was there a particular moment that left an indelible mark on you? As the plot unfolds, you'll encounter a delightful mix of humor and teenage angst, all set against the backdrop of an unforgettable soundtrack. Whether it's the outrageous stunts, the rebellious spirit, or the infectious energy of the Ramans, there's something for everyone. So, are you ready for the wild ride that awaits? Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless classic? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's keep the rock and roll high school spirit alive. Stay tuned for more fun, shocking, and heartfelt facts. It's a journey you won't want to miss. And remember, we would love to hear your stories. Drop them in the comments below. Keep watching for more surprises and let the nostalgia flow. Step into the vibrant realm of Rock and Roll High School, a cinematic gem from the rebellious era of 1979. Picture this the first time the silver screen echoed with the rebellious tunes of the Ramones, creating a sonic landscape that would leave an indelible mark on hearts. This classic isn't just a collection of scenes, it's a journey through the tumultuous corridors of teenage rebellion. The plot unfolds with a delightful mix of humor and angst, showcasing the chaotic charm of a high school determined to break free from convention. It's more than just a film. It's a testament to the spirit of an era that resonates with the infectious energy of the Ramans. Rock and Roll High School wasn't merely a movie. It was a mirror reflecting the zeitgeist of its time. The rebellious spirit portrayed on screen mirrored the sentiments of a generation grappling with societal norms. As you embark on this wild ride, be prepared for funny, shocking, and even somber moments that encapsulate the multifaceted nature of teenage life. The soundtrack, featuring the Ramon's iconic tunes, adds a layer of vibrancy to the narrative. The music becomes a character itself, pulsating through the film and creating an atmosphere that transports the audience back to the bustling landscape of 1979. It's not just a movie, it's a sonic journey through the rebellious tapestry. Now, as we delve into this timeless classic, we invite you to share your most cherished memories and personal experiences related to the film. What scenes left an impact on you? How did the rebellious spirit resonate with your own teenage years? The comments below await your stories, keeping the spirit alive. Stay tuned for more surprises and insights into the captivating world of this cinematic masterpiece. It's a journey worth taking, reliving the enduring legacy. Let the nostalgia flow as we celebrate the enduring legacy of Rock and Roll High School. Step into the vibrant world of Rock and Roll High School, a rebellious cinematic masterpiece that reverberates with the electrifying tunes of the Ramones. Picture this, the silver screen pulsating with the rebellious spirit of an era, leaving an unmistakable imprint on hearts. One standout moment unfolds as the high school corridors come alive with an outrageous stunt orchestrated by the students. The sheer audacity and creativity displayed in this scene encapsulate the unbridled determination to break free from conventional norms. It's a rebellious spectacle that mirrors the spirited defiance of a generation grappling with societal expectations. In another memorable episode, the film ingeniously weaves humor and teenage angst into the fabric of its narrative. A group of misfit students, led by a charismatic rebel, concocts a plan to ensure the Ramons perform at their high school. The ensuing chaos, hilarity, and camaraderie resonate with anyone who's navigated the tumultuous journey of adolescence. The soundtrack, featuring the unmistakable tunes of the Ramones, emerges as a character in itself, weaving seamlessly into the movie's fabric. The music becomes a sonic journey, transporting the audience back to the bustling landscape of 1979, a time when the rebellious energy of that era mirrored the sentiments of an entire generation. As the plot unfolds, it becomes evident that this isn't just a movie. It's a mirror reflecting the zeitgeist of its time. The rebellious spirit portrayed on screen becomes a testament to an era, capturing the essence of teenage rebellion against societal norms. It's a snapshot of an era that resonates with the infectious energy of the Raymonds. Now, dear audience, share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this rebellious journey. 
What scenes left an indelible mark on your rebellious soul? How did the chaotic charm of rock and roll high school resonate with your teenage years? The comments await your stories, keeping the spirit alive as we celebrate this enduring cinematic gem. It's a journey worth taking, reliving the rebellious legacy. Amidst the rebellious echoes of rock and roll high school, the film's setting at Mount Carmel High School in South Central Los Angeles played a pivotal role. Interestingly, the high school had been shuttered since 1976, contributing a desolate yet authentic backdrop to the rebellious narrative. The cinematic rebellion reached its zenith with the explosive climax, utilizing the actual school scheduled for demolition. However, the explosion exceeded expectations, startling nearby residents in the wee hours of the morning, creating unintended chaos. As the film reached its culmination, director Alan Arkush found himself hospitalized for exhaustion on the last day of shooting. This unexpected turn led Joe Dante to step in and direct the final scenes, including PJ Soul's rendition of Rock and Roll High School in the Gym, the extended take in the bathroom, and the scene involving the telephone booth. It's a testament to the dedication and challenges faced during the making of this cinematic rebellion. Adding an intriguing twist to the narrative, the motorcycle ridden by the hall monitors was a death machine from the film Death Sport. Roger Corman, the executive producer with a penchant for rebellion, had produced and directed this film a year prior. The integration of this cinematic artifact into the movie reflects a unique layer of rebellion within the rebellious, blending the spirit of two distinct films from the same era. In essence, the film is not just a rebellious journey captured on film, it's a convergence of real and cinematic rebellions. The unintended explosion, the directorial shift, and the incorporation of a cinematic relic all contribute to the chaotic charm that defines this 1979 classic. As we delve deeper into the rebellious corridors of this cinematic gem, share your own tales and experiences related to this unconventional high school rebellion. The comments await your stories, keeping the spirit alive as we celebrate this enduring cinematic rebellion. In the realm of rebellious cinema, Rock and Roll High School stands as a testament to resourcefulness. PJ Souls, portraying a spirited character, took matters into her own hands due to budget constraints, purchasing her wardrobe for a meager two one hundred fu. The red satin jacket, a key element in her ensemble, was snatched from the hands of none other than Rod Stewart at Fred Siegel. The origins of the film's plot trace back to an intriguing source. Co-writer Joseph McBride's father, Raymond E. McBride, regaled him with a tale from the 1920s, a walkout at Central High School in Superior, Wisconsin. This anecdote became the seed for the rebellious narrative that unfolded on screen. The rebellious essence of the movie extends beyond the main plot. Handwritten posters glimpsed during the ear mail sequence reveal a sly commentary on the times. A People's Temple recruiting poster offering free cool aid adds a layer of dark humor, while a film club advertises a double feature showcasing Death Race 2000 and Hollywood Boulevard. The juxtaposition of these elements captures the rebellious spirit of the era in unexpected ways. As the cinematic rebellion unfolded at Mount Carmel High School in South Central Los Angeles, the choice of a shuttered school since 1976 added an authentic yet desolate backdrop. The explosive climax, utilizing the actual school scheduled for demolition, brought unintended chaos, surprising nearby residents in the early hours. Director Alan Arkush's exhaustion on the last day led to an unexpected shift in the helm, with Joe Dante directing final scenes, including PJ Soul's rendition of the title track. Adding a layer of intrigue, the motorcycle ridden by the hall monitors was a cinematic relic from Death Sport, a film produced by Roger Corman, the executive producer of Rock and Roll High School. This integration of two rebellious worlds reflects the unique dynamics of filmmaking during that era. As we delve deeper into this rebellious journey, share your tales and experiences related to this unconventional high school rebellion. The comments await your stories, keeping the spirit alive as we celebrate this enduring cinematic rebellion.